Hi, I'm Justin DeWitt from Fireside Games, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Grackles. Grackles is a lightly themed abstract strategy game about getting birds on telephone poles. Uh, Grackles are a type of bird that are found in most of the southern United States. They have a couple of different names, and they're known for a couple of things. One of them is their colors. Uh, they, the male birds are black, but they are, have these really iridescent colors that feature purple, green, and blue. You start to see where we got the colors for our game from. Uh, another thing they're famous for is they love to gather on phone lines, usually around sunset. And that's what our game is about, trying to get your color of birds onto phone lines on our tiles here. So this is an abstract strategy game that's very easy to learn, but there's some nice, nice depth of strategy coming up here. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to play, but let's go ahead and start by going over all the components that come with Grackles. Grackles comes with 180 bird tokens in four different colors, 45 of each color, 25 tiles, which will make up the game board, four player aids, and then also uh, rotate tokens. There are five in each color for a total of 20, and this very small rule sheet, which yes, it is literally just one sheet. That's how easy it is to play Grackles. To set up Grackles, first, Find the two starting tiles in the game. You can tell they're the starting tiles because they have these black triangles on the edge. Take those, put them together so you make a black square in the middle, and set them in the middle of the board. That's going to be your starting board. Next up, everybody gets all the birds of their color. It should be 45 total. And then you get five rotate tokens in your color as well. Keep those with those players. Then you're going to take all the tiles that come in the game, shuffle them up really good, and make a draw pile like this face down. Lastly, each player is going to get one reference tile so they know what they're going to do on their turn. To determine your starting player, take one bird token from each player, mix them up, get one randomly. In this case, black will be our starting player. Everyone else gets their token back, and now you're ready to start your turn. Uh, Grackles is very straightforward in that there's one action you perform on your turn and four choices of what to do with that action. I'll go over the four actions now. The most common one you're going to see is to draw and place a tile. You draw the top tile from the deck. Once it's drawn, you can't put it back. So once you've grabbed the tile, you're determining that's going to be your action. When you place it, it's very simple. As long as it's placed orthogonal to any other existing tile, you're good to go. You can't go diagonal or anything crazy like that. And you can place it in any orientation you want. Once it's done, that would be your action, that would be the end of your turn. One of the other actions you can perform would be to build a line of birds. This means connecting one dot of your color with another dot of your color and covering up all the spaces in between. So if I was the purple player and I chose to build a line of birds, I would lay down three, like that. That's building a line, you're going to do that a lot, and that's the point of the game, to get more birds out onto wires. The other thing you can do is to extend a line. So let's say we've gotten to a point Another player played this tile, and now I, as the purple player, can take my line even further. I can go ahead and lay down three more birds, again, covering up everything between my two colors. Now, one of the things you can't do, let's go ahead and do it this way, when you're extending a line, is you cannot make a 90 degree turn. So for example, even though it looks like that would be extending a line, it's not. That's actually starting, that's an incomplete line because it doesn't have one dot of each color that you're filling at the same time. You also can't cross your own lines. So even though this looks like a great space for the purple player to play, you can't cross your own lines. Once they're blocked, they're blocked for all players, including yourself. This brings us to the last action, which is to rotate an empty tile. You can do it five times per game. It costs one of your rotate tokens, but you can take any empty tile that doesn't have a bird on it, pick up that tile, and rotate it. Maybe this is going to get you more spaces connected the way you want, or maybe it's going to take away some connections from one of your opponents. But those are the four actions you have to choose from on your turn. You're going to do one of those, then it's going to be the next player's turn. So gameplay is going to continue like that with each player performing one of their four actions until the game ends. Now one thing to keep in mind with Grackles is that it has a floating board. You start with these two starting tiles and then you build out uh, as the players decide how they want to build, but it can never be more than five across and five up and down. Once you hit that limit, you can't place a six tile on the edge. So in this scenario, we've already got our five across. If the next player on their turn would have put a tile on the edge like this, now we've established our five up and down. So that's it. The rest of the game would be spent with the tiles filling in this grid. The game is always going to end in a 5x5 five five grid of 25 tiles, so all tiles will be used in the game. Players will then spend their next remaining turns putting out birds, extending lines, and rotating. When they reach a point where they can no longer do any of those actions, that's when the game ends. The players are going to count up their tokens on the board to see how many birds they actually got onto phone wires. Whoever has the most birds out there is the winner, and if there's a tie, it's considered a shared win.
So that's how to play Grackles. Uh, this is a game for two to four players, plays in just about 30 minutes, uh, light abstract strategy with some interesting things going on underneath it there. There's a little more to it than you might think at first. Uh, we're very excited for you guys to get this to the table. If you like this and you want to know more about other games we make, check out our Fireside Games channel on YouTube. We have how to plays for all of our games, so we can walk you through literally how to play anything we've made. Uh, also, if you want to keep up with us, feel free to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. We also have a newsletter we send out once a month where we will tell you what we're working on and stuff. So if you want to subscribe to that, you can get that on our website, firesidegames.com. Uh, other than that, we hope you guys have a great time. We're super excited to see how you like putting birds on phone wires, and we will see you guys at the next gaming table.